Hey everybody, this is Ronald here with Centuri Systems Incorporated. I just want to share this quick video with you. Uh, this is for Mac users only right now, uh, but however, if anyone who is using uh, the PC, this will work for you if you try this method. What I did a few weeks ago, uh, I upgraded my uh, QuickBooks to tw QuickBooks 2016 and I upgraded my Microsoft Office Suite to Office 2016. I wasn't thinking at the time when I did this upgrade that uh, Outlook was not going to be compatible with the QuickBooks. And so I had this problem because I no longer could submit my invoices via Outlook. And I didn't like the method and the way that I was doing it before. So what I did is I went online to try to see if I can find a solution and I was not finding a solution at all. Everybody was having the same problem that had upgraded their QuickBooks and has upgraded their Office Suite. And again, this was on my Mac. And what I'm fit to tell you what worked for me, it may work for you as well if you just go ahead and try it. Uh, this uh, may work for you PC users as well if you go ahead and try it. What I did in a quick short clip of this video, what I simply did uh, after looking online and there was really no solution and folks were saying you just have to downgrade your office back to your older version that was working with QuickBooks uh, uh, to be able to use the Outlook. And I really didn't want to do that and there was a lot of uh, customers, people out there that I noticed that had done the same thing and they really didn't want to revert back to their old suite, especially after spending the money that they just spent on the new office suite. Uh, and even on the new QuickBooks suite, if that's what they did, like I did, upgraded QuickBooks and Office. So what I did uh, after looking online and finding no solution, I posed this question to myself. And this question was this, can I reinstall just my old Outlook uh, and, and just use that instead uh, with my QuickBooks to be able to send out my invoices like I was doing before, leaving my office 2016 suite intact along with the new outlook as well without removing it at all so i wasn't sure if there will be a compatibility conflict or an issue with the old outlook and the new outlook i wasn't sure at all so i decided to go ahead and just take the chance and just do it and see if it will work so this is what i did for you mac users uh, and as well, if it works for you PC users, you can go ahead and try it. If it does, please leave a comment below and let me know that it worked for you just like it worked uh, uh, for me on the Mac. And I just want to know so that way I can feel good in knowing that I was able to help uh, a lot of you who, uh, who is faced with this problem to overcome this hurdle. Uh, but what I did in a nutshell is I simply asked that question, can I reinstall my old Outlook along with my new Outlook without removing anything or changing anything, but just reinstalling my old Outlook that worked with QuickBooks and just use that in its place. And so what I went ahead and did is I pulled out my old Office Suite, reinstalled it, excluding the uh, Word, Excel, PowerPoint, all the other software uh, that came with it except for Outlook, and just installed Outlook only. I set it up. Got it, act got it activated, uh, went ahead and got it also um, uh, my email client protocols in place so that I can send and receive emails. So when I did that, uh, I went ahead and I shut the system down, bought it back up after I reinstalled it on my older Outlook and went back into QuickBook Pref Preference and, and lo and behold, in the preference for email client that I wanted to use to submit invoices, it had Outlook. Uh, now, to my surprise, I'm thinking that QuickBooks was going to open up my old Outlook um, and be able to allow me to send emails, which it would have. But this was the thing that tricked QuickBooks. QuickBooks only sees the fact that you have an Outlook application that is compatible, so it allows you to check Outlook. It doesn't know which Outlook version you're actually using. It just has Outlook. So when I clicked on an, uh, a, a e an invoice to submit it as, a, as an email attachment, it opened up my Outlook 2016. And I was puzzled by it because I'm thinking, okay, something wrong. So I closed it down, went back into QuickBooks, submitted another invoice, 
it opened up my Outlook 2016 again. So I said, okay, I thought this wasn't compatible. Well, as I was thinking about it, it dawned on me that my Outlook 2016, because I didn't remove it, it was still set up as my default mail application. So when I reinstalled my old Outlook 2011 on my Mac and set it up, it was compatible with QuickBooks, so QuickBooks would allow me to select the, select the mail client uh, to be able to submit my invoices and that mail client is Outlook. Well, QuickBooks doesn't know if it's Outlook 2011 or Outlook 2016. All it knows is that there is an Outlook that is compatible. So when I selected Outlook in the preference and, and when I submit my invoice, QuickBooks only opens up Outlook. So whichever Outlook was the default, that is what it was opening. And since my 2016 Outlook was the default and I had a, 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 a focal point for QuickBooks to look at and say, okay, he want to open up Outlook. So what QuickBooks was doing was just opening up Outlook and it was executing the QuickBooks 2016 that was the default. And lo and behold, it worked for me. My, my friend who was a, also a subcontract worked for, I submitted invoices for work that I do for him and I used him as a test to send an invoice that I had previously sent him uh, to see if he would receive it. Well, to my surprise, he actually received it. The invoices showed up in my sent box in the Outlook 2016. And as a result of that little modification by adding and reinstalling my old Outlook that was actually compatible, it allowed my QuickBooks to be able to see uh, and use my Outlook 2016 and it worked for me. So the only change that was made, not me removing my new Office Suite, but just simply reinstalling my Outlook that was compatible with QuickBooks that allowed the, the, the compatibility uh, uh, between the new software to work with my QuickBooks. And so I just want to share that quick video with you guys out there who has been, didn't really want to go backwards, but you, you know, you spent your money, invested your money in the new 2016 Office Suite, and you may invest your money also in the new QuickBooks 2016, and you want to just be able to keep moving and keep working and using the new software suites that you have acquired. Well, that was the solution for me, and I am sharing this with you and hope that it will be a solution for you and that you can be able to use your Outlook 2016 with your QuickBooks 2016 or 2015 or 2014, whatever version of QuickBooks you have. If you reinstall your old Outlook version and set it up, leave your new uh, Outlook version set up and as a default and it will work for you just like it worked for me. At least I hope so. I won't know unless you try it and you send me a, leave a comment down below and say, hey man, thank you, it worked. And I great thank you that you, you made this video to let us know that. And so I hope that it works for you just like it worked for me. Again, leave a comment down below so that I know that it worked and I can feel good to know that I was able to help. Uh, thank you again. My name is Ronald and this is Centuri Systems Incorporated TV.